So today I have something terrible and embarrassing to share with you all. I have bugs. I got thrips and I've got lots of them and they're everywhere and they're in all of my indoor plants, all of them. I haven't found a plant that doesn't have thrips. I'm so disgusted. Listen, I am all good with biodiversity and all sorts of critters in my plants outside. I welcome them. I want to find them. It's very fun and exciting for me. But plants inside my house? No, no bugs allowed. <laughs> I found a whole infestation of thrips in my home and I'm going to clear house. I'm getting rid of everything. So I'll show you some close ups of what I found. Be forewarned, it's gross. And secondly, you can watch me toss away all my plant babies. So this is a kind of a sad day, but let's just get through it together. Thanks so much for watching. My cactus has been dropping all its leaves. They're looking like this. Kind of crispy. They started dropping leaves a little while ago. I don't know, I didn't really think anything of it and now this is what it looks like. And now I have discovered that I have bugs and I think they're called thrips and I'm super grossed out. And so let's see if I can zoom in even more. These little tiny black bits that are kind of around each of the brown parts of the plant are little itsy bitsy bugs. Let's see. Do you see them? Maybe I can make them move. Ugh. See, look, they're moving. Gross, right? Oh my God. So now the worst thing about this is that they're actually transferring themselves onto other plants because these little leaves had all fallen off and now they've moved to other parts inside. They're on this guy too. See, do you see one right there? That little black spot? Let's zoom right in. That's one of the terrible little creatures. See over there? They're on there as well. Ugh. And I'm pretty sure they've ruined my jade plants. So I'm very, very upset. So here's a leaf for my orchid that is not looking very happy. And I saw that I have a few of these little things on it. So here's one and here's another. That guy is moving clearly. Let's see if I can zoom in and show you. Maybe even more. So they're all over the place in my house and they've got to go. There they are, one on each of the leaves of my little ZZ plant. This was just a seedling, so I'm going to have to get another one from my friend and start all over again because I don't want this, these little critters in here anymore. I'm so sad. I'm pretty much going to dump these. They're all going into the um, municipal compost because it'll get all fried and they won't survive, but uh, I definitely don't want to put these outside either because maybe they'll get into my gardens outside as well. So super disappointed, going to have to refresh on some of my indoor plants. So I'm just washing this out. I was just rinsing it in the sink and then I was going to do a good clean. And look, I'm pretty sure that all these little bits are bugs. There's at least a bunch of them. Oh my God. And look, even in the bottom there, you can see all those kind of like oblong shapes. Ugh. So I did a little bit of research and I discovered that thrips are super common. You can get them in all sorts of areas. You can get them from grocery store plants, from plants from your friends, from plants from the fancy uh, nursery, whatever. They can come from all sorts of places. So just keep an eye out. They're super duper 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 tiny and easy to miss, but you can do a couple things to make sure that you don't get thrips in your home, or if you do, you can get rid of them. So you can clean the leaves, you can clean the plants when you receive them. I've got some insecticide bug spray that I'm gonna be using on all new plants that I get into my home. And then 
if you wanted to, you could do some treatments to the plants. For me, that was just too much. I've got too many plants and I really found quite an infestation. So that's why I'm clearing house. So that's why I've, I'm doing this terrible deed today. And I'm hoping that I can prevent this in the future. So in the future, I'll be spraying plants, making sure they're nice and clean and making sure that I'm getting them from either quality um, plant providers who are aware of thrips and really trying to prevent them themselves, or if I'm getting them from friends, I'm really keeping an eye out to make sure that I'm not getting any little critters along with the plants that they're gifting to me. So that's what we're doing here today. And that's how I'm gonna try to prevent things for the future as well. There you have it. They're all gone. I'm pretty sad about the whole experience, but this is going to be an opportunity for a refresh that I've never done before. I've never just cleaned house and started fresh. So I'm going to do that. We're going to start all new. We're going to get plants that are specific to my home, not just because I like them, but because they'll work with the lighting conditions, etc. So maybe this was okay in the end, but either way, thrips bad. What would you have done if you discovered thrips in a bunch of your plants? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more gardening adventures and tips along the way as well. Thanks and happy gardening.